The Power Trading Hour with your host, David White. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, David White. And welcome all to another excellent episode of the Power Trading Hour. And as always, we meet at the appointed time. The following takes place between 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. So what do we have going on today? Well, we're up about 40 points on the S&P cash. Dow's up 212. Nasdaq's up 134. Russell's up 16.8. Uh, crude oil's up 85 cents. Gold's up 11 bucks. Silver's up a buck 06. Uh, and, of course, uh, what I'm really uh, interested in most of all, which we'll get to in a minute, is the TLT down 74 cents, 107.57. We'll look at the dollar uh, and some other stuff going on here. But, uh, yep, that's kind of it. Uh, as we did in the update, a few things going on. Uh, the CPI numbers in the morning. Uh, did I have that up? Why don't we go ahead and uh, get to the TLT? Uh, not much of a bounce. And for my trading, I'm pretty much focused uh, knowing where the money is and the bodies are buried. And as we said, I wasn't looking for much in the way of a bounce uh, right away in the uh, bonds. Uh, we had a low of 26 million shares at 108.12. That was back on June 16th, we got 24.6 uh, million shares on the 6th. We're retesting that today. Not too bad, about 7.4. So there may be uh, a bottom starting to develop around this area that you might be able to either trade off of or uh, infer that the market could do something like top out. Uh, that may be on the CPI numbers in the morning. That's a probably a binary outcome so no way to actually know you know we used to hear nothing uh, about these numbers but how they were cooked by the government and now that they're horrible you don't hear anybody saying that they're cooked I, I'm wondering if uh, that won't kind of come back uh, there's always uh, in the realm of politics, somebody willing to put their thumb on the scale. And with uh, a lot of people facing re-election, you always wonder if uh, somebody at the uh, uh, BLM or some of these other agencies don't get a little phone call saying uh, things better, better start looking a little bit better than they're supposed to. So we may get some numbers out there. They may be true. They may be false. But... Uh, I guess the, the thing is, if it was seven and a half, is it still as horrible as if it was truly eight? I, I don't know if it really matters that much for one day in the market. Maybe it does. But uh, that was kind of the, you know, when we're looking at that, we're looking at the bonds here. Uh, right now, it's closing and is under that 108.12. So to me, that's a bigger signal uh, than the light volume at the moment. Um, any bounce would be lucky to get you to 111. So there's not that much upside, I suspect, in the bonds. And we continue to hear noise about that. <laughs> ah, he says uh, they're not cooked. It's just like I was the chef, apparently. So uh, as we keep an eye on this market, uh, as we said, there was a few things going on that I thought were pretty ridiculous. Uh, we've got... Uh, I'm going to say bat crap crazy. Folks, uh, this is, uh, what would you call it, the uh, dog and pony season uh, for financial conferences uh, where they uh, tell people their, quote, quote, investment ideas, i.e., I have already bought it and I want to sell it to you at a higher price. Uh, probably the most ludicrous one today and on the back of somebody asking, an 80-year-old asking me, about Bitcoin and whether they should own in uh, uh, NFTs yesterday uh, is the call for one million dollar uh, a Bitcoin Bitcoin uh, in ten years from now, 
Um, I think if you make that kind of prediction, don't you get to face the death penalty if it doesn't come true? I think, uh, you know, I can see people like me, and I kind of tell everybody, I drive, uh, I, I trade markets like I'm driving in fog. I, I think I can probably see about as 25% as far as I think I can. Um, you know, a lot of things could happen in 10 years. But uh, Bitcoin at a million dollars a coin, probably pretty ridiculous. So uh, can we reenact the last uh, five or ten minutes of uh, William Wallace's life in Braveheart uh, for somebody like this that uh, is just so ludicrously over the top? I don't know. But if I was king, I guess the queen died so I could make myself king. Maybe I can identify as the king. That's all it takes these days. Anyway, uh, maybe I'd pass a law if you make some kind of bat crap crazy prediction uh, beyond all scope of reason. And without uh, really telling everybody why, maybe you can. Anyway, just some random thoughts. That and the 80-year-old asking me about Bitcoin and NFTs. Uh, makes me think that maybe we've probably gotten to the end of the road on what is yet another episode of financial mania uh, that goes back, well, it goes back to actually for 2,000 years, but probably documented uh, the best starting in, what is it, about 1609 with the Tulip Mania. I always recommend one of the best books on understanding financial dementia uh, from uh, John Kenneth Galbraith. He was the uh, uh, big cheese during the John Kennedy uh, regime uh, back in the early 60s. But he wrote a lot of books about understanding economics. And they weren't the kind of book, or at least the ones I read of his, were more historical uh, to get an idea of uh, what was going on. So uh, TLT, it's closing lower. We've got some numbers in the morning. Could it be uh, the blowout numbers everybody suspects? Uh, if they're good, uh, will everybody just say that they were leaned on for political reasons? Uh, there's a little bit for everybody's plate. I'm pretty much all in cash. I think that there's more happening. Of course, uh, this week, uh, Friday is quad witching. So there's a lot of stuff going on. I did bring up on the update, uh, there are two things going on right now, and that's a SALT conference in New York. Uh, the other was uh, a bunch of people in Newport Beach uh, pushing single stock futures. Uh, now there are 25 single stock futures, 24 of them don't have any volume, uh, and the one that does is Tesla. So if you're looking for some kind of interday leveraged position to lose more money on uh, instead of less, uh, you got that, but uh, you know what? They're adding another five this week. And I think so. That'll take us to what? Thirty-one single stock futures. Yep. Uh, well, do I have any audio here? I don't hear anything. I have some my outro music yet. I'm listening. Well, I'm just assuming it's playing, and I do not hear. Oh, there we go. take advantage of this sector now is the time to subscribe to my gold report the gold report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold which is the currency and bond markets new subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to lose every monday morning i publish the gold report with coverage of gold silver bonds the xau hui gdx as well as more than 30 different mining equities to see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today.
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. As we turn, I think I uh, talked about everything I wanted to. Uh, single stock futures, uh, yeah, I guess that was probably it. I don't think there's a whole lot more to talk about. Of course, uh, the SMHs are flat. Uh, five more companies, mostly in the uh, manufacturing side of uh, the SMHs, like Applied Materials, we'll look at in a moment. Uh, got their letters on Friday uh, stating that they can't sell anything to China without a uh, license. And, uh, hey, you know what? He ain't getting a license. Um, of course, most people keep on trying to avoid the fact that uh, China has been making, or anything in China, has built-in back doors. I think we probably talked about it in 2016, and I knew uh, that it was coming. And that was that the, the uh, I want to say it was eh, Super Micro. I want to think it was super micro, not 100% sure that was the company, had gotten a bunch of uh, motherboards for servers. And they had kind of a little different chip on them uh, than what was ordered. And it was a way to uh, basically uh, backdoor any PC and be able to look at data on it. Uh, the FBI said, uh, oh, no, 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 nothing's happened, nothing happened. And, of course, uh, much like TikTok, where several uh, intrepid uh, software engineers took it apart and looked and found out it was nothing but a, a uh, Trojan horse sending all its data back uh, to the Ch uh, Chinese Communist Party. Um, kind of the same thing. They found it was uh, these 100 boards had uh, or so uh, destined probably for a secure facility. No one ever said uh, was that well everybody it just gets worse and worse uh, I was always rather uh, shocked to see that in the uh, change of uh, administrations suddenly uh, maybe someone believed that China was going to change their colors anybody Bueller you I don't okay I don't think anybody believed it I don't know what happened maybe someone got paid off wouldn't be beyond the scope of reason. Uh, 
We've got people getting 10, 15 million dollars um, sideways from their wives, daughters, cousins, sons uh, at the highest levels of office in uh, Congress and uh, other places. So would it be uh, beyond the scope of reason that uh, people got leaned on a little bit to uh, uh, make those uh, go away? And maybe there was a promise they wouldn't do it anymore. And someone incredibly stupid believed it. Well, you never know. But uh, we're back at it again. And uh, everybody's got to figure it out finally that uh, China is a threat to our national security if they can make hardware and especially the hardware we need. So uh, no suit for you, Mr. Chinese Communist Party, trying to make uh, uh, semiconductors uh, yourself. Um, as we said, even, what, six, nine months ago, uh, we had, uh, let's take a look at AMAT first, and then I'll go and look at uh, ASML. Um, you know, is it a big deal? I think everybody knew it was coming. I don't think there's anything new. Uh, ASML, of course, the big one that got hit early on, uh, and I think it was back here in the tail end of 2021, uh, was ASML. Uh, even though they're in uh, Europe, uh, in the EU, uh, they've got the uh, they got the Riot Act written uh, read to them about selling. Uh, the high-end uh, machines for creating uh, really the silk screens, let's call it the easiest way to think about it, the machines that actually uh, make uh, those, uh, and it's been beyond. So you don't see a lot of action now. Most of these companies knew that uh, something like this had already come. They just got the official word, but probably knew about it 60, 90 days ago. Uh, the question is, does, is this enough to actually get uh, the semis to watch out? And I don't know. Uh, we'll probably see the reaction with the CPI in the morning, and maybe that'll tell us a great deal more. Um, we continue to see short squeezes on a lot of stocks that had been down. Uh, there aren't that many short positions, but that's it. Um, Apple is kind of one of the uh, most interesting ones. After their dog and pony and new product show that uh, actually got everybody uh, a collective yawn, uh, you got a big bounce out of here today. And this is on probably a, a, a bit of propaganda. Uh, and that is uh, when the stock didn't do anything, uh, they had to break out the big guns, and that's the phony story. In this case, it was uh, we had so many orders that uh, it crashed all the servers. Well, that would probably make sense in 2005, but doesn't make sense in 2022. Uh, within really seconds, or maybe even one second, uh, if you need more server capability, more internet capability, all these uh, big companies run on web-based services. You can spin stuff up in an amazingly fast uh, level. So actually, my belief would be that Apple, either one, was negligent in being ready, or two, is lying about crashing the servers with so many orders. Uh, I bring the story up from time to time because it was one of the ones I thought was most interesting. I think it had to be about 1986. Um, and I was at Moscone Center in San Francisco, and I went in to uh, watch a, a product roll out, and I think it was for the second version of the uh, Macintosh, and they, uh, my friend at the time was with me. Uh, we'd gone out there uh, to go do some sightseeing. He was uh, in the uh, business of, uh, uh, you know, having what would you call it the uh, meeting rooms and all that stuff in fact he worked at the Hyatt Regency in Kansas City if you remember that uh, where everybody got crushed he just happened to be off that night thank God but uh, down to the Hyatt Re uh, Regency anyway 
uh, he was uh, talking to the people about what it was like to work out there, how much money they got paid. He got to talking to them. Found out that Apple had actually rented four of the different sized rooms there. And what they were doing was uh, looking at the crowd and making sure that they got one size too small. So a lot of people had to be standing out in the hall. So when people took pictures or had any ideas about it, but there's uh, since uh, Guy Kawasaki, who put together a lot of that, there just isn't a lot of reality around the marketing on Apple. I don't know if they have lots of uh, orders or not, but uh, eh, seems a little bit too convenient. We'll be back in a minute. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. The gold report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text, either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. And see. go through all those you can always email me at path at tfnn.com you can call me at 877-927-6648 and you can always leave a message in the den so on apple just the point of my story is that uh you know you go uh out of uh out of uh a product announcement and you get nothing you get a little bit of a short squeeze on friday but that's about it and you get a bounce today is it a sign of strength? Not really. 
just up to this gap down on Apple uh, from the 29th, but uh, kind of in bear markets. That's the kind of thing. You get the very sharp, very quick move higher, and uh, we'll see what the volume is like before the end of the day. But, uh, yeah, lots of stocks in those SMHs having issues. Uh, the usual suspects uh, not doing so well uh, or flat. Um, AMD's down 2%. Um, again, this is the pattern where I'm thinking uh, that I would love to see if you want to see some kind of a low in the market that is viable with a better track record of making the low. And that is, uh, well, let's just look at this here. Um, you really have been underneath the uh, three by three displaced moving average. You could use a nine day moving average or something like that. Um, you barely cracked over it on, on uh, Thursday, Friday, you popped up here, but not a lot of volume about half volume here uh, today. You want one more pull back under that line. You want volume to really drop below uh, the September 7th, the uh, 69 million shares. And then you want the move back higher above the other side of that. Um, that's not a prognostication. That is a pattern that may or may not develop. But that would be the pattern I would buy. Um, Wyckoff, uh, who was kind of the patron saint of price and volume trading, called it an automatic rally. And he said that's one that happens without any preparation. Uh, and uh, there's no pattern that's been built. You didn't know that the bounce was coming. Maybe you did, maybe you didn't. But most of the time you didn't. So you want it to bounce. You want it to go up on uh, a little bit of energy. And then you want it to pull back on light energy and test the Retest the previous low, that'd be 77.74. And uh, one of our other uh, 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 other uh, fine uh, traders out there uh, with uh, Tim Ward, uh, he always uh, hammered early on, at least when I was listening to him in my formative years as a baby trading of the markets, that a low is not a low until it's been retested. And so there's kind of a good thing in there. But if you could gain back on lighter volume, uh, that could be uh, something you might want to look at. Uh, somebody in the den did bring up the super micro thing. I thought it was 2016. He's got a, a tweet from here that says something about 2018. That could be that could be it. Or maybe well, that's the date of the article. Who knows? It may have been uh, a year before that. But, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, between that and uh, hacks of chips that went in routers and chips that literally go into anything, uh, you really can't uh, can't trust. Okay. Uh, anyway, that was it. Did we look at Nvidia? I don't think so. AMD's down just a little. N -E. Okay. On Nvidia, one of the other ones out here, uh, it's popped back up to this gap down on the gap down. On the 1st of uh, September, it had 117, almost 118 million shares. On Friday, you got into it with 48 million shares today with 36. So, again, both of these might have some kind of low coming, but it didn't yet. And you want to retest that 132.70 from September 1st on lighter volume. Um, my thought is that we're working up some pressure for a lot of these probably to break. And that's mostly on the very light volume and energy that we've seen in these coming up off the low. Generally, you want a sign of strength and then a pullback to the low on lighter volume. Not always, but that's generally it. When you get a bounce with not much of anything and then it goes back down there, the second time uh, or third time is the charm. Okay, uh, up 33 on the S&P cash, Dow 31, let's call it 170. 111 on the NASDAQ uh, to the upside. Okay, we've got some other things going on here. Uh, yeah, there's nothing new on CCJ. I'll put it in my newsletter when uh, when there is. But uh, right now, a lot of these stocks are just 
uh, winding up. Maybe tomorrow after you get CPIs or something else. But, uh, yeah, we probably made some kind of low uh, over the last week in energy. And, you know, you got a doji out here. Uh, do we need to consolidate out this area? Probably. But you did, you did have a little bit of a pop-up here. Uh, what I would think is maybe if you're lucky, you get a pullback to this uptrend line or downtrend line, actually, uh, that would take you somewhere in the high uh, 79s, maybe around 80 and no volume. And then maybe that's where it starts. I think we have another week or so um, where, uh, you know, generally the market does not start getting into a fall rally mode until very late in September. Uh, like I said, the September uh, 25th, the 25th, 28th, something like that, uh, that we're going to have the uh, big dog and pony uh, conference, uh, uh, not seeking alpha. What's the other one? Returning alpha, delivering alpha. I think it's delivering alpha is yet another big orgy of financial supposed geniuses telling us what we should buy and uh, where the price target is and everything else. And of course, yeah, don't have a very good track record. A little bit of self-serving, talking their own book. And of course, they've already bought all these stocks that now supposedly are going higher or lower. Um, and they let us know, not before, but after they get involved in it. A uh, question about Micron from uh, Joe. Am I seeing anything out here? Um, this has uh, got a fairly decent low volume. You got to bounce out here, but again, on light volume. I would love to see, like all these in these SMHs, a pullback on lighter volume to retest these previous lows. Without it, uh, I'm just waiting for the other shoe to drop. Um, now, you got to like that light volume. You get a bounce off of it. And the volume probably should have a sign of strength. We haven't gotten one. Without a sign of strength, you're more than likely to come back and test the 5209. You maybe don't have to get in all the way. Maybe 53, 53 in lighter volume, and that's it. We'll be back in a minute. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? 
If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD. Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866 476 7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. As we uh, come back and take a look, a uh, question about the spies. Uh, first of all, we had a question about CRISPR. It kind of looks like the uh, rest of the whole market. Um, I do like that it came back on lighter volume off the 86.95 high. It came down and made a low. You bounced. But again, um, I didn't find it. I wanted to look at it. Hi, BD. Uh, yeah, I can't find it. Thought maybe, uh, oh, here it is. Uh, uh, Investor's Business Daily, here it is. Uh, one of the things I liked, uh, IBD used to be on TFNN. I think Tom used to interview somebody from there. Uh, and the one thing I thought was interesting, uh, there was a lot of stuff they had on there, but uh, some of it's self-serving. I.e., I'm, yeah, I've got, I pick 50 stocks. Other people think that that's a license to make money. So they all buy those stocks. So it ends up being kind of a self fulfilling prophecy on something. But they uh, did preach um, something that I kind of used three days. I think they were using four or five days. And that is that you should have some sign of strength. Uh, and follow through days or something like that. Now, just going up on the same volume doesn't really make my heart all warm and fuzzy. And that's generally why I want to see another retest before I buy a stock. Uh, it may look good like CRISPR does here uh, on the price, but uh, you're not getting much in the way of people uh, uh, breaking down the doors to get in like it's... Uh, uh, the day after Christmas at Walmart, and uh, we have a steel cage, cage grudge match uh, to get the latest doll for the kid. No, 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 no. Uh, we have about the same amount of people wanting in or out. Now I'm looking for signs of a bunch of people wanting in or out, and I don't have much of either here, and that's why I suspect that we're going to get one more bite at the apple at the lows. Uh, not particularly Apple itself, but an Apple. So I'd like a pullback a little bit underneath the 3x3 uh, uh, three three displaced moving average. I'd like that volume to really shrink and then close back above it, and that would probably be where I would buy it. Uh, so that's uh, kind of the way I would buy it. That is me. Okay, what else do we have? Got some more emails flooding in. Uh, okay. I got a request for uh, an E Trade commercial from 2000. Let's light this candle. Okay. Uh, what was his name now? I can't even remember. Oily little guy that was helping out the boss to buy stocks. Stewart, wasn't it? Was it Stewart? I want to say it was Stewart. Okay. 
just go through these emails here real quick and take a look. Okay, question about ADI. I'll we'll take a look at some of these other semis. I probably should have gone through all of you today to see what was going on. Well, you're up a little bit. You got about half the volume. But this is what make, always makes me think that there's another shoe getting ready to drop. And that is we're, we're in the 12th of September. We should have some volume. We should have some signs of strength. And not just on massively shorted stocks that have popped up for a day and are up 20% and then go sideways for a week and then give it back all uh, back up. Uh, I'm looking for a little more. We've got a short squeeze in a lot of the most highly shorted stocks. So I'm not surprised that we get uh, moves higher in things like CRISPR uh, or the use of semis. But there's nothing in here that tells me either one that shorts have given up on it and or if there's a massive short squeeze, there's probably a bit of a short squeeze in these, but uh, analog devices, you got uh, not a big day going on in this. I don't know if there's anything to actually write home about. Um, Martha wants to know about a target or downside target on TLT. Thanks for the first email, Martha. Uh, and see what else. Um, let's go back a little further. I think we have to go back way. We have to use the way back machine. And if we break here, really the next we're at levels that go back all the way through 2019, we break uh, this low. The next real big low out here is the November 2nd low of 2018. That was at $100.76 on the TLT. So, you know, is it possible? I, uh, I'm not going to say it's 80% or 70%, but at, at the moment, there's a probably, I'm going to say better than a flip of a coin, 55, 60% chance that 176 cent low of November 2nd, 2018, a day that will live in infamy uh, where you made that low and then, of course, everything turned around. So, um we shall see. Okay. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. I'll make sure I'm out here. Question about Microsoft. Microsoft's still uh, probably the class of the field, although it probably doesn't get as much uh, uh, harangue as most of them. Um, again, it, a lot of this stuff's just kind of going sideways. Um, what you don't kind of like is you've got three... Well, actually, now two higher, uh, uh, lower highs, uh, and you weren't able to make it even back up to the previous high. Uh, again, a lot of these stocks in a perfect world are probably going to give you yet another opportunity uh, to re to uh, buy at a re uh, uh, a retest at the low if you're thinking long, and. Again, volume's been about the same for 10, 15 days on Microsoft. There's no real clue there. It hadn't really picked up. It really hadn't gone down. Um, so I'm not a big fan of sticking my neck out on this one. Uh, but um, I only I don't chase, and I buy generally when everybody's selling. And I would love to see us back into that candle of September 6th. Online or volume, he had 21 million shares that day. Maybe something else happens or it's down there on 10 or 12 million shares. That would be probably a pretty good sign that your risk reward is good and you uh, didn't get it uh, closed below 251.94. But uh, I've got a fairly good discipline about buying stocks when there's blood in the streets. Uh, the old French saying is uh, uh, sell on the trumpets and buy on the cannons. And uh, yeah, no cannons yet. We'll be back in a minute. This 
Mesa Gold owns and operates the largest undeveloped gold project in Australia, the Mount Todd Gold Project. Vista Gold just completed their feasibility study, resulting in a 7 million ounce gold reserve. Vista Gold has all major permits approved and has retained CIBC Capital Market Assistance in evaluating alternatives and in completing an accretive transaction. Vista Gold trades on the NYSE American and TSX under the ticker symbol VGZ. Vista Gold, executing a strategy to create shareholder value. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN, also a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. And we may have, uh, there was a uh, gentleman, I always forget his name. He was pretty famous in the, uh, in the 90s. I think his name was Peter something. Anyway, he used to just go to the mall and see where everybody went in and out of. Uh, and uh, those were the companies he bought in the mall. Uh, Peter Lynch, thank you. Um, well, we... We have some outside observability now, uh, if you uh, know where to look, uh, on who's uh, doing what. And we talked about that tune-out times last week. I think we brought it up a couple of times before that. That's when everybody quits watching. Well, Netflix has thrown an absolute godsmack amount of money into uh, trying to pick up the Lord of the Rings trilogy. Uh, but they did it twice as long and twice as bad. Uh, and everybody's uh, pretty much screaming about how they've, uh, uh, well, I can't even say that. All the stuff that I'd love to say, I can't say. Anyway, uh, they didn't do well on it. Uh, and a variety of uh, people saying it's racist. Uh, most of the people just saying it's horribly bad. But, uh, you know, if you're going to take these moonshots and spend lots of money, 
uh, trying to uh, get into the same business as some of these uh, productions trying to do Marvel or DC. You're going to have some wins and losses, but uh, it looks like a fairly big loss for Netflix with uh, most people uh, either laughing or throwing something at the TV. Uh, one of the best reviews I saw was uh, that uh, three hours into the, the uh, Lord of the Rings on Netflix, they didn't get uh, half as far as the movies did in two hours. Uh, I don't know. So when you can, not when you have to, we will return tomorrow. Building wealth trading in the stock market seems impossible.